What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Last Days of Warcast. We are Southern California Beast Band, the Last Days of War. I'm Mark. I'm Rob. Danny. Who am I? I'm Josh. <laughs> Gentlemen, first on the agenda, shots. Shots. Scott. Cheers. Holy fuck. <clears throat> so, Rob, how you doing out there? <laughs> doing good. Doing good. I, uh, I took most of the week off. Oh, okay. Nice. Like I said, we went to, uh, went to the casino for Jeremy's birthday. Went out, saw our family yesterday, and today we went out on a boat. Did a bunch of fun stuff, so. Much of cool adventures and stuff, so. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Getting everything ready. Yeah. Well, happy oh, hey, it's, birthday it's, uh, to Jeremy. Yeah. It's good to, uh, have a physical, mental health break days where you don't have to, like, Think about the grind and, oh, shit, I got to get to work and pay the bills and worry about my time and what I'm putting in and all that. And yeah, no, it's just about, shit, I got to get these lyrics written down. And I got this idea and we got to try this. And, hey, what if I did this? And there's this element that I got to, nope. So things are rolling. Danny's going to be getting a package here pretty soon. So it's all good stuff. Hell yeah. Not not Dan- like, yeah, but Danny can explain it. You know. Danny, how you doing? Well, you, want me to, you want me to explain the package you're sending me? <laughs> I mean, it's basically, I don't I don't want to be traveling and have my outfit oh, for the show. You, you don't want your stuff for the show. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I don't want to be trying to go through, you know, metal detectors and airport security and have them go, uh... What is what is this gas mask? <laughs> and, oh, gas yeah, mask and, and vest. Why well, you got a bulletproof vest? <laughs> what is this all for? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Danny, how you doing, buddy? Good, man. I just been uh, working on stuff for the tracks, and then uh, had to uh, send a computer off a laptop to be uh, repaired. So. We're down a laptop for maybe a week or two, and I'm kind of like, they they said, hey, when do you need this by? And I'm like, eh, about a month is when I would absolutely need it by, so a week would be really cool. So, <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. For sure. You know, we sure. got what shows up? coming up, you know? It's true. It's true. Yeah. Uh, Josh, how you doing, bro? Uh, I've been better. I don't want to drop the name of the company. But I'm ready okay. to fight somebody at a hardware store. Oh, for sure. <laughs> uh, we had a washer and dryer go out of my pad, and we went in, paid for replacements, was pretty much told next day delivery, and we're on fucking day four still. Oh. And yeah. I don't have a washer or a dryer, so yeah. <laughs> it kind of sucks with kids <laughs> and a wife. Oh, well, if you get rid of them, you're fine, right? Yeah. <laughs> then I don't oh, gotta yeah, wash yeah. shit. That's fine. You think... don't need a washer or dryer. I knew somebody was gonna say that shit. I think you might might have a solution to your problem here, though. Yeah. Well, guys, I real quick. Blame... How about you, Mark? Before... How you been? I've been doing all right, man. Just uh, got a few uh, Friday the 13th tattoos the other day, and uh, just chilling, you know. Uh, oh, you got one. Uh, I got a few. I got this, uh, I don't know if you can see it there, this Bart Simpson right there with the little 13 on his skull. Wait, and then wait, I got, uh, put it, put it got, in the middle. I got, I got my, uh, <laughs> this rose done on my finger. You got what? You, you got a little rose? Oh, okay. A rose a on my rose. finger and a heart in my ring finger. Cause my wife's like, just get something tattooed there. If you're not, if you, if we can't find a damn ring for you. I'm like, okay. So, <laughs> so. Yeah, but yeah, no. What um, you got, you got a Bart Simpson skull. Yeah, look, I got a fucking. Where's it at? Right there. There's someone just doodling all over you, huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Um, are, those, are those rub on or are those permanent? What are those? <laughs> no, <laughs> just a fucking like rub on. Licking. Hey, they're all they're all fucking rub ons, dude. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm I'm perfectly fine with you having rub on tattoos. 
Rub off tattoos. I already knew where you were going with it. <laughs> I already knew where you were going with it. Oh, man. You guys, uh, we had a single drop a few days ago. Same as officially out on all streaming platforms. Thank you guys so much for just the great feedback as always and everybody um, listening to us and all the streaming. Uh, we had somebody tag us in a TikTok. The guy had heard it like 114 times or something like that. The song's only been out a few days. So <laughs> I was like, damn. So it's his roommate, cool. his roommate just won't stop playing the fucking song. Can you guys do something about this? Like he's, <laughs> he's playing the fucking song and I'm over this. <laughs> I just thought it was funny because he he showed he showed the screenshot of his statistics of the song and it said like four hundred and something plays and then it had like one skip. So I, so I messaged I I send a comment on there and I'm like, hey bro, what's up with the one skip? <laughs> he's like, he's how like, dare you? How dare you, dude? You know? And he's like, you. oh, he responds. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry, man. Uh, I, I hit the wrong earbud and it skipped it. <laughs> what? He's like, he's like, I was turning it up. I was like, I'm just fucking with you, dude. Thanks for all the support. Yeah. But, oh, man. Can you see Imagine. what song it was? Or? It was same. He skipped he's, same? It was, yeah, it was 400 and something plays of same and then one skip of same. It was like. <laughs> he's like, I, I think I've heard this one before. Yeah, it's the same. It's so oh. same. <laughs> Let's skip this one then. Oh, this one's pretty yeah. cool. Hate to break it to you, friend. <laughs> but yeah. And then before we jump into our actual topics for the day, one last thing, you guys, we are uh, running a Kickstarter currently. There's links in the bios, uh, all of our bios for all of our social medias. Uh, give it a check. You know, give it a look. We're trying to get this album kicked off. Uh, Rob, you got anything you want to say about the Kickstarter, really quick? Uh, this is basically, this is our pre-sale for our album. This is us trying to push it a little further so it can hit beyond the market that actually is demanding it. Now, you, the listener, the friend, the family member, you actually get to be a part of making this album where we put your name on different stuff or do different things. Let's do it together as a team because without you, we are nothing. 100%. So, gentlemen. As we're trying to get started with this with this podcast, we had quite a few technical difficulties. <laughs> so, yeah, we had um, some uh, internet internet issues. What yeah. are you talking about? We're thirty minutes in now. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, any that. other shout outs? I just want to say uh, we got a new single coming out. Uh, but thank <laughs> you guys for listening. Links in the bio. <laughs> uh, like. Follow, subscribe, subscribe. Um, and, um, and tune in next week when Mark is 100% <laughs> going to play the game. Uh, is it a nostril, an eye hole, or a butthole? <laughs> Thank you. I guarantee you Mark, that. Uh, when we were having be... technical difficulties, did you hear all that? I did not hear any of that. Oh, oh this is going to be a good game. You're going to be in for fun, we bro. Did. <laughs> so we saved you, you, we saved a couple of screenshots from earlier. When you when you popped in, one of us was gonna be having their nostril up, and one was gonna have their their eyeball up. And then I was like, somebody should put their butthole up, and then you could guess which one's the nostril, the eyeball, the butthole. He's like, I don't wrong. He was, they're all not wrong. Eyeball. He's like, wrong. They're all buttholes. <laughs> they're all buttholes. Uh, <laughs> jumps on you. Oh, fuck. This shit's going off the rails. All right, dude. So technical difficulties we were having, and uh, I thought it would be like, good. You should, have, you should have seen the warm-up, Danny. was like, okay, let's all try to get our buttholes in this time. I'm like, are we kissing them together? What are we doing? He's like, well, no, just put your buttholes on the screen. And Josh oh, is fuck. like, wait, what did we just sign up for? And it's like, fucking face the last hurts, one. Dude. Oh. My face hurts from laughing. Fuck. You oh. you weren't around for all of that. How do you think my face feels? I'm like, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> so for we, a second there, we Josh actually pulled out his bowl. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. No, he got. He stood up and was doing something. I was like, oh, he's but it was like his finger or something. Like he's like, oh, look at that balloon knot. Oh my god, oh, the balloon knot. 
<laughs> oh, see, I told you. We didn't know what it was. I think it was still his bubble. Why does my camera smell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what the smell is. <clears throat> Oh fuck! So yeah, that's the game. That's okay. that's the game you gotta play. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. I'm fucking. Let's go. So we thought that today would be a good thing to talk about, which is technical difficulties on stage, right, Rob? Go and ahead. we have and we have <laughs> all these I, technical difficulties. I mean, not not even just on stage, but just technical difficulties that you can run into as an artist like artists these days like we were talking about uh falling in reverse had to cancel a show because three of their computers were having issues mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if your if your computers are all fucking down and screwy you gotta figure that shit out so you can get the whole show and production back up and run it um like but I there's said, been we got, other. We got a laptop in in the shop right now. So you you got to make sure that all your your ducks are in line, so you know, like, hey, if this goes down, we got this as a backup. If that goes down, we got this, or we got that. And you you got to get everything like, even guitar players. Hey, if I break a string, I got this string, but this guitar's already strung, so I could use this one for the whole show if I need to. I'd like to use this one for these songs, <laughs> whatever. But, like, something happens, you have to have, I don't know, what is it, artist mentality of, like, fuck, the show must go on. How do I improvise? How do I keep going with that? Yeah. Like, uh, when and, we played and, our first show and you had no click for control, and you're like, uh... <laughs> Here we go. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, no, and there, there's a big factor coming up that didn't really want to address on the webcast uh but there's factors coming up with our current shows coming up that uh i gotta struggle with um visually for me being able to see oh. <laughs> so yeah so there i'm running into that issue so this <clears throat> could be like hey i can hear it but i only can see you know Fish, hey, don't fall story. off the stage yeah, that part, that yeah. part, like trip over the drum we, set. We and gotta, don't do that. Yeah, I don't want yeah. any like minor mishaps that will halt production. Just whoop. <laughs> <laughs> so do you What's got, any, you, got a, you got any uh, good stories of, uh, with malfunctions, Rob? In any of your all the time that you've been uh -oh. a front man? Uh oh, did we lose Rob? Okay. Rob's going to play the game. All right, everybody, everybody get in the position. When he comes back, he'll try to guess. Right? Get ready to pull out your bubble. Here he goes. <laughs> if he reconnects, he comes in. Let's go. Everybody get in position. Yeah. Holy shit. <clears throat> One of these, and he comes in. He's like, what That's the heck exactly is that? Right there. Uh, he, dropped, he dropped out completely. Yeah. Well. well another technical difficulty. So, so do folks, we keep talking? So we just got to remain calm. That's the best thing to do. We just got to remain untamed, dude. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, this is what we're talking about. We actually, this is, we planned this, this technical difficulty. We're actually, yeah, for we're this actually, <laughs> we're going to show you what to do in in the case of a production. In case of an, emer in case of an emergency, this is what you're going to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, this one, I don't have an answer for you. I don't know. <laughs> Danny. Yeah. Being yes. that you've had a career of running sound, I'm sure you've run into plenty of technical difficulties, sir. <clears throat> oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah. Um, I've ran into, you know, small, big, it's, yeah. Um, I've seen all of it, you know. Um, I was telling uh, Josh and Rob earlier that there was a, a guy that worked at a venue I worked at, and we were using a kick drum mic and a kick drum that requires phantom power. And so phantom power comes from front of house. He's calling the phone and he's going, Hey, have the drummer, you know, tell him to hit the kick drum. I'm like, bro, he's hitting it. Like, he's <clears> like, I'm not seeing it, you know? And I go, Hey man, that, uh, that mic needs phantom power, you know? And so I didn't know this, but what he had done on the console is he gained it up the channel. Right. And then he, unmuted the channel with the fader down and then he pulled the fader up 
And then he realized, oh, yeah, bro, I'm supposed to put Phantom Powder on that. And he went and hit Phantom Powder. So it was hit Phantom Powder. It was gained up all the way. The Ooh. channel was just opened up full throttle, blew a few amps, took out took out a couple, uh, you know, some <clears> subs and stuff. And, you know, there was a, you know, production manager was pretty pissed. So I was going to say, was that his last, you know, was that his last day on the job? <laughs> I want to say, I don't think he worked very long there around, you know, it was kind of like on a need to basis and then he kind of just fell off, you know? So yeah, for sure. Shit happens. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've, I've walked into a venue and I've sat there, I've been in the same situation where we go to start sound check and I'm literally like, I got signal coming in the console. I'm seeing it. I go, I, you know, gain something up. I start sending signal to that mix and I'm not hearing anything. I look at the masters on and up. And then I realize, shit, I mute everything because I forgot to turn all the apps on. And you know, oh, I mean, normally I would turn them on at the top of the day and I forgot to, when I came in. And so I'm sitting there looking like an asshole going, Oh, hold on, dude. You know, turn the amps on. And it's like, all right, let's go. <clears throat> so it, all, it shit like that happens. But you know, I mean, mishaps like that, like, I mean, I've seen, I've I've been at shows and I had a show I was doing monitors on and it was like a local band and there was uh, somebody that was at the show. He's I don't remember exactly what it was, but I remember they were pretty famous and they had walked behind the drum riser and some of like the backdrop fell into like a like a par can light that was facing up behind the drummer and so Ooh. it started catching on fire. So like. Oh I mean, shit! I've seen stuff like that. I've seen. I was working a show with uh, Stone Sour, and the house lighting guy fired up some of the moving lights, and the backdrop was on the very back, you know, on the the um, the upstage wall. And uh, he had pointed a moving light at it with like a focus beam, and it literally just started to burn in a hole through the backdrop, you know. And so. Um, seen all kinds of stuff like that you know josh you uh you uh you do you do a few bands with tracks and stuff like that have you had uh, problems with, your, with any of that at shows uh yeah i've had issues with the other band i'm currently in that involve both tracks and okay. mechanical malfunctions oh shit we um we had a show where we've played this place before. My setup is pretty simple. Just a straight mixer. I got an iPad. We got separate DIs for tracks and click. And for some reason, this sound dude could not get it down where click was not coming like click was coming out of the monitors that you don't want yeah. to open here. You don't want to hear. Oh, shit. So we're, we're like three minutes past our time we need to start because Homeboy can't figure out how to get the click off. So it finally went to the point of I just dis disconnected from the DI. So only I got clicked myself, and then nobody else could hear it. Yeah, Mechanical they all have to I've had a bass drum pedal... Like, literally, the footboard broke in the middle of playing our second song. Oh, yeah. So, and it was my predominant right foot that my footboard was kind of like doing a weevil wobble like a skateboard because it was not mounted anymore. The only thing holding on was a chain. So, what so, do you do? Do you, like, gaff tape that up? How do you fix that real quick? Bullshitted my way through the rest of the song. Looked over at the other guitar player. I was like, fuck, dude, my pedal's broken. Where's the tape? Luckily, wireless guitar jumps off stage, throws tape to me from across the bar, catch the tape, three pieces on there, two minutes later, let's go. Nice. <clears throat> so it, it's just one of those, you gotta, you gotta, gotta find your way to... You gotta do what you gotta do to make the show keep going. How full was that bar for a guitar player to just jump off stage <laughs> and just know that he's <laughs> right here at the bar? Just, hey, take. There you go. Um, 
This place was smaller than Fellas, so uh -oh. it's easily doable. <clears throat> oh, I think he's gone again. More technical uh, difficulties. More technical. This is the this is the best possible thing to happen for this episode, to be honest. For a like, technical <laughs> they, they use this legit, like ridiculous. We're not bullshit. Like, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this um, is Rob's as... dropped off again. I see Josh's thing says reconnecting as well. Oh, yeah, but, uh, he's Rob's gone. gone. Yeah. Josh is back. You're yeah, you're here. Yeah. So, so um, along with the like, like you were saying, mechanical difficulties. I, I mean, I, I mean, along with you, Josh, we did. I think we did play one where uh, the stage felt like it was going to collapse if we moved to <laughs> if we moved too much. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Yeah, that was a, a battle of the bands we won. Yep, it was. Yeah, uh, that was. I just remember you were putting your your drums up, and then you looked at us and you're like, "You guys, do not fucking jump on this stage because we will all go down." <laughs> well, I remember watching the band before us, and they had the stage held together with C clamps. Yeah. But they didn't clamp every piece. They only clamped the outer edges of the stage. So as people were moving, it was separating itself in the middle. And we could just watch it, like, bounce up and down. So I'm like, nah, bro. If you guys move, well, those, one of us is those those deck pieces, Those deck pieces, there's, you can put a coffin key and they lock. And then you see clamp the shit out of it to, like, stay yeah. together. It didn't even sound like they were locked. You know what I'm saying? No, well, this was this was thrown together. Hey, we're gonna have a battle of the bands. Uh, yeah. It was Splash Kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it 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 was interesting, but yeah, that was definitely sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> For me, as a vocalist. It's always the worst when I go to a show and I realize that they don't have any like floor monitors, so you can hear, so I can hear myself, and I'm like, oh shit, this is gonna be interesting, you know. Uh, I think one time I remember I played a show at Lake Alice in Riverside, and they for whatever reason just don't have floor monitors. They only have speakers that are like in front of the stage, so there's not that's not even behind us, you know, so like I can't hear a damn thing. Uh, that was, that was rough. That was a rough one. <laughs> I was like, fuck that. But, um, yeah. yeah, man. And then it's, uh, you know, with us, uh, like I was saying with Rob, when we realized he didn't have click for control and like, I started singing his part cause I could hear it, but he couldn't. And so I started singing his part a little bit and then like, he like jumped on with me and I was like, okay, we're good. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like, I was like, this is where we're at, dude. I was like, uh, yeah. Well, that's crazy too because wow. you guys, you guys are on the same send. So mm -hmm. if you heard it, so it was, it was either his pack or his in ear buds or something. Yeah, something, table. something had happened on his end. Yeah, he was like, I can't hear yeah. anything. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> well, because the funny thing is, I remember him looking at me and I could hear it. You know, so mm -hmm. I'm going like, uh oh, I don't. You know, at that point, it's like. Ugh. You gotta get your back out. Look at it, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, um, but yeah, man. Um, I've seen I've seen all kinds of stuff happen like that at shows. You know, it's never never a dull moment. You know. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, um, these. Uh, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Um, I know you mentioned a it? few things. Oh, uh, Tito um, Jackson died. Uh, I didn't know he was still alive, but he, he died. Yeah. <laughs> Tito, Tito, Tito yeah. Jackson. Rest in peace, man. You know what I mean? Rest in peace. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, what else? Hey, so I, I wanted to go, I wanted to get on here real quick and state that, um, I love Taylor Swift. I knew you were going to say that. I love Taylor Swift too, buddy. Yeah. Um, there's, there's can no we talk, can, 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 can we talk a little bit a little bit about this for for a second? <laughs> no frog butt for me. I just I just find it hilarious, man, that this guy's losing his shit over a celebrity endorsement, 
and it's well, like you know it's to he, me it's uh, one of those things it's like if she it's her platform to use you know what i'm saying if she wants to yeah. say to her, her people that i mean she's gonna do it so she did it and that's it what are you gonna do you know i mean i don't really think that like saying that you hate somebody that's i mean five-year-old you know so yeah, go ahead and be a five-year-old man if that's what you want to do go just do it over there yeah. you know Honestly, I think he's only pissed about it because it did make a difference. Like, they, like so many new people registered to vote because of her. And that's good. Um, and yeah. that, and that, that didn't happen on the Republican side when, uh, you know, Kid Rock and Hulk Hogan came up there. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, got nobody yeah, over I here. Oh, I'm keeping up on Hulk Hogan's, like, social media presence or, like, Kid Rock exactly, but I know that Taylor Swift is in, like, the hundreds of millions of followers, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, man. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. Good luck, dude. That guy's... It's a wonderful implosion witnessing live in real time. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. <laughs> this guy. I got I got some popcorn and I got some tea. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna chill out and watch the whole thing happen. You yeah, know? it's getting good, man. man. It's getting really good. Man. It is. You know? Yeah. Too much. It's getting crazy. Um, and uh, the Simpsons haven't failed us yet. There's a few more days left. So <laughs> that's all I'll say. I you just, know what I mean? <laughs> man, at this at this point, it's just like, okay, oh my gosh, you know? Yeah. It's just dodging bullets it, all you know the what, time, dude? you know. <laughs> legit literally like it <laughs> yeah for sure is there anything else that you wanted to talk about before we wrap it up go for it go for it Danny. so um <clears throat> save yourself coming out october 11th yes uh, sir. we've got the full album coming out november 5th we've got a show at the district in redlands halloween night and we've got a show at Goodfellas in Rancho Cucamonga on November 2nd. Yes. Hell yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, guys. Uh, and then once again, thank you so much for streaming same. Uh, it's always cool to see you guys sharing it all out. And check out the Kickstarter if you guys want some cool stuff in return and help out this pan grow and uh, get this achieved. Let's do this together. We say it all the time. We need it. We can't do this without you. So. Um, yeah, this has been the last days of Warcast. Check out all the links in the bio to absolutely everything. Uh, catch you guys next week.